Michael Cohen testified as part of a civil fraud case against former President Trump and his company today. In the $250 million lawsuit, New York's attorney general alleges Trump inflated his net worth in order to receive business and financial benefits. Trump has denied all the allegations. CBS News chief election and campaign correspondent Robert Costa joins us now from outside the courthouse in New York. Robert, it's great to see you. What were some of your main takeaways from Cohen's testimony today? I mean, this is a man who used to be pretty much the former president's right-hand man. Good to be with you, Weijia. Uh, Michael Cohen, Trump's longtime fixer, testified that Trump, in private conversations over the years, encouraged him and other Trump associates to inflate his assets, including his properties like Mar-a-Lago and Trump Tower, and that Cohen and others worked at Trump's behest to do exactly that, to fulfill what Trump wanted, which is to have his net worth move to a higher range. At one point, Cohen testified today that Trump thought his net worth was $4.5 billion, but it really felt like $6 billion. And he wanted his aides and advisors to make sure that all of his financial statements got to that $6 billion number. Well, during a break, Trump himself spoke briefly about seeing Cohen again. Let's take a listen and, and connect with you on the other side. I don't feel to see Michael Cohen again. Uh, well, I uh, haven't seen him in years. And uh, you know his record. His record is a horrible one. All you have to do is ask the Southern District of New York. He's got a horrible record. But they're just starting. But you'll see how it ends up. What about his testimony? It's not going to end up very good for him. What about his testimony? We're not worried at all about his testimony. Well, it's no surprise that Mr. Trump is not holding back. But I wonder how his presence inside the courtroom changes things, if at all. Well, we... Well, Weija, it's interesting to sit there in the courtroom, as I did today for a few hours, to watch the former president as he interacts with his lawyers. He can't say anything in the courtroom. And for Trump, that's an unusual circumstance to not be able to speak out, someone who is so often in public life, someone who is giving his opinion in many different ways, whether it's in a social media post or in a rally speech. Here in the courtroom, he has to be quiet. But he does shrug his shoulders. Sometimes he throws his hands in the air. But he does it in a way so he doesn't cause a disruption. So it's a very muted appearance by Trump. But he did not ever seem to look at Cohen much. They did not have much eye contact from what we could tell here at CBS News. Instead, it was more of an icy tension in the room about what was unfolding as Cohen detailed all of this alleged fraud. All right, Robert Costa, thank you again for joining us.